Uh, so Ted Kaczynski, 81, reportedly found dead in his cell on Saturday at a North Carolina federal prison. Uh, though, though authorities so far have not revealed an official cause of death, the New York Times reported that he died by suicide, citing three people familiar with the situation. Mm. So the Unabomber. Yeah, the Unabomber. So uh, a lot of people, um, you know, putting on their tinfoil hats now and liking it to Epstein's suicide. Mm-hmm. Was it a suicide? I mean, yeah, if, you, if you're a high-profile figure like this in prison and you die by suicide, I think everyone's just going to ask questions now. Yeah, but I mean, this is—he's been in for twenty-two years or something. I know, right? Yeah, they—he—he they, he goes down in the annals of the worst use of a composite rendering sketch artist. To find this man <laughs> ever? Yeah. It's a picture of a white dude with a hoodie Good. up. Wearing sunglasses. The aviator sunglasses. Uh, you are a pair of aviator sunglasses and a hoodie away from all of us being this guy. Like yeah, this is zero anything. this is zero yeah. help in finding there you go. this person. And by the way, I I don't know if it's just me, but the composite looked exactly like John Holmes from nineteen eighty three. Like porn star. <laughs> it looks exactly like porn star John Holmes. You can find a eighties version of John Holmes. The porn star, it looks exact. That's all. That's all I. That's all made me think of. This is anybody. Yeah, could mm-hmm. be anyone. Yeah, right. The worst. I think this is the worst. And one. And, <laughs> and and never do facial hair in a police composite because that's the first thing that's going to get shaved because the guy's just <laughs> yeah. going to see a picture. Uh-oh. The guy's going to go, oh, I'm going to take this hood down. I'm going to shave my mustache. I'll take these sunglasses off, and now I'll be a completely different human being. Yep. In ten minutes, I'd like to see his merch bag. <laughs> He could sell a lot of those uh, hoodies. He must have met John Holmes, the porn star. I did meet John Holmes. He must. He must yeah. have been making the rounds around here. I'll tell you what. He was no Robin. No. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. He didn't take the penis shrinking pills. Uh, apparently not. Yeah. All right. Take your time. That's a little. That's okay. Oh, I even got the sunglasses. Now yeah. you can find John Holmes with a mustache. You need John Holmes with a like '80s perm. John Holmes. It with might the already mustache. be on the computer, Byron. <laughs> anyway, all right, he's gone. He'll be missed. <laughs> He'll be missed. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. Uh, just a reminder: admitted committing sixteen bombings between seventy-eight and ninety-five. A Harvard-educated mathematician. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Could have been Johnny Watt. Yeah. yeah. His brother's the one that turned him in. Turned him in. Yeah, but then um, it was like he worked out a deal. His brother worked out a deal with the FBI. Like, no death penalty, though. And the FBI's like, okay. That was the deal? No death yeah. penalty. Then they catch him and they go to back to the brother. Actually, death penalty is on the table here after what he did. So his brother became like a crazy activist against the death penalty because of that. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, he was sending bombs to like faculty at Cal and Stanford and stuff like that. It was weird. He wasn't a traditional serial killer, you know, preying on runaways and girls yeah, and stuff. He, he was, he was a, tech serial killer yeah. or something i don't i don't exactly know most of most of them were like packages for professors right yeah that's why you call them the unibomber he had a different kind uni- of hit list universities and air airports i think right so uh-huh or airplanes excuse me so unibomber yeah um wait what's the air how's the airplane come in you i'm guessing you uh the a maybe in bomber universities wait, where's and the air- airport he did airplane, airplanes? airplanes excuse me he did airplanes yeah oh he did yeah you like you did one on an airplane where it exploded. And I think like a bunch of gas went into into the airplane. I don't think nobody died. I, I believe. Oh, it did an airplane. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I think that's. I think because of him, like another he merchant. Grounded, he actually grounded flights because of because of what he was doing. What's weird? I only heard professors. What was he going after the flights for? Huh. Well, yeah. ben- oh here, look. Um, uh, April 96. Oh, sorry. FBI called Nina Bomber because of his early targets seemed to be universities and airlines. An altitude triggered bomb he mailed in 79 went off as planned aboard an American Airlines flight. A dozen people aboard suffered from smoke inhalation. Wow. Mm. Wow. Yeah. A lot of range. A lot of range. So, uh, yeah. All right. Let's move on to uh, speaking of air- airplanes. This, this one's crazy. This is going to be a movie next year. Oh, right? yeah. Um, Four Colombian children survived a plane crash and uh, and survived the Amazon jungle for 40 days. They were found 40 days later. Mm. Uh, these kids, by the way, aged 13, 9, 4, 
and like 11 months. Wow, yeah. 11 months. Yeah. Wow. So they were on board. So all four of these kids plus three adults were on a plane in the Amazon. They, the plane crashes. All three adults die. Mm. And so and they have to fend for themselves. They, what they did was, um, one, they hid in tree trunks to protect themselves from the snakes, animals, and mosquitoes in the jungle. I don't know. I, I heard that, too. Like, how is hiding in a tree trunk? Every time I lean against a tree, live? I get a... I mean, I've never been inside a tree yeah. trunk myself. I lean against a tree, and I get an ant on me. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. How, how, how would... The all tr- the other animals have that idea. What are you What are you yeah. thinking? Yeah, they're all running for the trunk. Sounds like Jurassic Park 3. They, they, they must mean climbed the tree to get away yeah, from Yeah, I can't them. do the trunk. Yeah, maybe it was animal. a language. Yeah. Different, different yeah. Like a colloquialism. Hidden but. tree trunks. <laughs> all right, anyway, go ahead. But yeah, so the hidden tree trunks, what they did was they survived because they took a cassava flower. There's a lot of cassava flour in the plane, and they just survived off of that. Why? Was there I a don't lot know of cassava why. Cassava flour in the plane. The plane was packed with cassava flour. That's weird. And and def- I mean, yeah, that could have been cocaine. I mean, this is Colombia. You know, talk to yeah. Vinny about it. Still, a lot of your uh, liver doesn't know the difference. Yeah, if people eat it like a pasta alternative with a cassava flour. It doesn't matter. Still high carb. I can carb. see that in high the carb. first the first class uh, uh, lounge. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. cassava oh, flour soup. Sure. No one's, yeah. t- no one's touching that soup. No. They're doing it on purpose. Yeah. They have to. They found these kids that are super fat. because They never... There would never be a soup that you would find at a delicatessen that you would like in the first class lounge. That's all I'm saying. It's uh, a yeah. scam. It's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam. <laughs> um, also, the, uh, they, the siblings are found with two small bags containing some clothes, a towel, a flashlight, two cell phones... A uh, music box and a soda bottle that they co- and, and they had soda bottle they used to collect water in the jungle. So one of the kids, the oldest one, he had some survival training, I guess, wow. just a little bit. But yeah, I mean, they forty days did uh, better than incredible. I would do. I heard the mom died like three days after. Four days later, yeah, or four days after. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Well, I. I think these kids are going to be celebrities for like the rest of their lives, right? Right. It's like a Survivor episode. Do you think they could survive uh, Bear Grylls? Oh, Bear Grylls. Yeah. Man, I... And you know what it's good for? I'll tell you what's... You know what's going to do? It's going to get a lot of guys laid in about 15 years. Because every guy... What's their nationality? Every Peruvian guy uh, out there. Colombian. Colombian. Every Colombian guy between the age of 21 and 26 is at a bar. Is just going to go, it's a great I'm bar one of those. I'm one of those. Yeah. No one's going to know. Right. You're not going to be able to call them out. It was hell. We had to bury my mom on day four. We lived off of uh, flour. We hid, <laughs> we hid inside of trees. And, and, and he's going to get a blowjob. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's you a good story. You got to get something out of that story. I could yeah. pass for Colombian, right? You could do that. Yeah. You could do it. Yeah, so what they did was, I mean, it's 40 days. I'm, I'm surprised they were still looking for these kids after that long, after finding the three dead bodies of the adults in the plane crash. Yeah. Um, so they sent 150 soldiers with dogs into the area. They were dropping off care packages into the jungle, just hoping oh, they these were. kids would find them. Yeah, because they found, like, footprints and stuff leaving the wreckage, uh, so they sure, knew. Yeah. But listen, don't they always tell you, stay at the wreckage, like, stay where you're at. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's where they're going to find first. Now they find the wreckage, but you're gone. Always hang out by the wreckage. That's all. That's yeah. A, yeah. Um, all right. Well, moving on. By the way, they're, they're, these kids are still in the hospital. They're being monitored for the next two weeks. Uh, moving on. So uh, more horses are dying during these horse races. Uh, two more died at Belmont Park. So uh, that and so all season long, horse that horses have been dying. Kentucky Derby. Uh, where, I mean, the place where they have the Kentucky Derby, Churchill Downs, they lost about a dozen horses this year, or mm-hmm. a dozen horses, each one, by the way, being heavily investigated. A dozen and, horses. Yeah, And didn't they horses. lose a bunch out here a yeah. couple years yeah, ago Santa in Santa Anita? Anita? Yeah. yeah, so it's 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 been a thing kind of shadowing the sports over the last few years. Yeah. And so the big discussion now is, is this an outdated sport? Like, so many horses are dying. Obviously, we haven't figured out how to improve it. Yeah, well, we also, it's like, we're weird because cockfighting is illegal. And there's a Zanku chicken or Popeyes on every corner out here. Right. But you would be destroyed if you engaged in (laughs) cockfighting, although we eat tons and tons, tons of chicken. 
So we have these like really stout measures against you can't have those brainless animals fight. And then the horses, big and majestic, and we don't eat them and we got to shoot them. And that's fine. We don't have an issue. It's a weird dynamic. It's a weird dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not like I hate getting rid of of old stuff that that we had in the past. I think there's too much of it yeah. in general. I don't like when they start, you know, I, I'm not down with the, uh, oh no, it's not Latino. It's Latinx now or yeah, Latinx yeah. or something. I was like, fuck right off. Uh, or, or what are your pronouns? Fuck off, fuck off. But this is like one of those things where it's like, well, if a dozen horse, like, look, it's a lot of horses. You lost three horses nationally over a season or something. It's kind of like, all right, maybe not, but, Losing a dozen at one track at yeah, like one lot. season and stuff like yeah. that, maybe it's time to take a look. Something's going on. Yeah. yeah. Well, Peta's very upset about it. Yeah. Obviously. So they're they're blaming the trainer. So in uh, Peta, you guys should call us when you're not upset about something. <laughs> I, that <laughs> that's what I'd like. That yeah, I'd, I'd like I've to talk to the ACLU and Peta when you weren't and when you weren't and Maxine Waters when you huh. weren't pissed off about something. I'd like to catch you on a good day. Yeah. Where you weren't outraged. A rare day, but a good day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Peter's upset about this. They're blaming the trainer, obviously, because uh, oh, by the way, because these two horses that just died are the same trainer. Was it all the same trainer? Well, yeah. the, the, these two were. Oh, um, and uh, by the way, Peter also under the gun by a celebrity, mm. Pete Davidson. So he That's actually right. was just in the news for reaching out to Peter, leaving an explicit voicemail for Daphna. Naminchevich, the uh, senior vice president of PETA's Cruelty Investigations Department, after she released a statement condemning his decision to shop for a dog at a pet store in New uh-huh. York City. Right? He didn't adopt. He went shopping for a dog. He like, It was posted online. Mm-hmm. And so she called him out saying, look, there's all these other dogs you can adopt. What are you doing here? Right. And, um, and Pete Davidson decided to call PETA and left a voicemail. And this is what uh, he said. Hi, my name's Pete Davidson. This message is for Daphna. Um, the scene. Uh, thank you so much for making comments publicly that I didn't adopt a dog. I just want to let you know I'm severely allergic to dogs, so I have to get a specific breed. I'm only not allergic to Cavapoos and those type of dogs. And my mom's dog, who was two years old, died a week prior, and we're all so sad, so I had to get a specific dog. So why don't you do your research before you fing create news stories for people because you're a boring tired fuck you and suck my dick oh and this message yeah he's very now he didn't get the, he didn't get those uh dick shrinking pills i don't apparently think. not that's what i heard yeah. <laughs> no one lives it down <laughs> nobody lives it down i haven't heard one word from him i've i've heard a lot of talk about PETA. nothing about his cock not being as right. big as we think it you is no yeah he has medium dick energy. All right. First off, why is he a celebrity? I I, I I was so wrong about him. I'm like, how's the least funny guy from SNL a, a celebrity, and then why won't he go away? But he will not go away. Um, Just now, accept it. To be fair to PETA, PETA fired back and said, there's other dogs that are hypoallergenic or whatever. That's yeah. not the not the only one. I don't know why you have to call Peter and, and explain. And why is that dog the only one that's uh, not uh, not uh, you're not allergic to? Uh, the, it, Peter said untrue, but oh, I, yeah. I who the hell knows? This is a this is a clash of. Of people I hate, I know, and I don't know. I, I don't know who to side with here. <laughs> and I yeah. have. Not, and by I the way, siding with Peter, not Pete. I don't have a problem with. Pete, I have a problem with us caring about him. Uh, that's that's my thing with him. But Peta, I, I anytime anyone wants to yell at Peta, that's fine. I have no idea why you would feel compelled to do that. Right. I understand. They wrote a shitty article about you that nobody cares about. Yeah. But all right. I love angry celebrity voicemails though. Yeah, you do have to true. love those. Yeah. You do. You do. I like angry celebrity voicemails, and I like celebrity assistants calling 911 after their celebrity OD'd and them trying to dance around what they did. It's always a dance. They may have ingested something at some point. Just send an ambulance, would you? Yeah. Yeah. They were allergic to... Yeah. They're allergic to cockapoos. 
Or two of pots. Or Cat of poo. Too many fucking yeah. poo dogs. Too many. Yeah. Uh, so our very own Glendale, California has been in the news lately. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What now? Well, it it's all over Pride Month mm-hmm. and in the school district. So they just... Uh, uh, Several hundred people gathered in the parking lot of the Glendale Unified School District headquarters and split between those who support or oppose exposing young people to LGBTQ plus issues in school, Mm. especially because they just declared Pride Month. Um, So protesters had a scuffle last week as punches flew um, during uh, during this. And there's a lot of video of it. Is this video, guys? Yeah, go ahead. Let's uh, watch. So these are, and by the way, Glendale, heavily Armenian. These are the Armos. Not putting up for that shit. And so, yeah, so people are like parents and supporters and protesters all fighting each other, like literally kicking each other while they're down. It's, it's no injuries, no injuries reported. But um, one teacher even attempted to compare the Armenian genocide to the risk of suicide by LGBTQ plus youth Uh, and said, kids, no. Yeah. If, so it's it. <laughs> okay. So First imagine so. Armos. <laughs> imagine Mark Gierkes hearing that. The, 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 all right. Let me. Couple things. The most miserable assholes on the planet work for an organization called Glad, which, <laughs> which I always find ironic, yeah. very yeah, ironic. Because they're the angriest, yeah. most yeah. miserable cocksuckers on the planet. Almost as angry Work as for Peter. a place called Glad. Yeah. Yeah, but at least PETA's named after a bread that's not in a good mood or a bad mood. <laughs> These guys are named after being cheerful and happy, uh, and they're miserable. So that's that's glad. That is ironic. 